so couch to 5k i sometimes nickname it from here to park run um, it's a way of developing running principally a way of developing running uh, a way of building up very gradually and very steadily progressively over a period of time but it isn't exclusively for runners uh, you could certainly use this very well to develop walking to develop both your walking speed and your your your, your distance your stamina your ability to last uh, very helpful for people returning to running and walking uh, fine for beginners but also if you have been uh, a runner before this is a really safe tried and tested way to come back okay the idea is uh, to say it's interval training so we intersperse working hard for short bursts with short bursts of recovery so you might run walk run walk or walk fast walk gently walk fast walk gently but the idea is that it's on off for a given period of time it's progressive so you start at one point and we build up the program that i've written is a 12-week program deliberately starts relatively gently for most people and builds up and i don't want to make false promises I say this is usually often termed couch to 5k this builds up to the point that you would be comfortably on your feet for 35 40 minutes something like that which for some people would get them through five kilometers as a, if you were running this you certainly would be doing five kilometers in around the national average time so brilliant for runners as i say but also really helpful for anybody that's just trying to build up their cardiovascular training uh, particularly on your feet in terms of the kind of pace you want to be going for um this doesn't need to be too hard. In fact, when you're starting out, take this gently, uh, particularly on the run parts. It's one thing to uh, work very hard in the recovery. So if you imagine run, walk, uh, I would encourage you to run gently. And if it feels like you can tolerate that quite easily, run gently and then in your walk break, walk briskly. If you need to though, in your recovery break, walk gently, whatever you need. Uh, it's important that this isn't overwhelming. It's important that this is enjoyable. It's your, it's your spare time. Uh, so do whatever feels reasonable for you. The programme will take care of itself because it builds, but find a pace that for you feels reasonable. Um, in terms of a guidance, a guideline, uh, it should be relatively conversational. Now, I know some, some people will say they can't possibly talk and run. I would urge you to adjust your pace so that you couldn't necessarily have a whole conversation, but that you would be able to talk in short sentences at the pace, run at a pace that you could speak in short sentences. It's one of the training zones that is associated with helping to combat cancer related fatigue. This idea that we work moderately and that we could speak as we did it. And there are other ways of beating fatigue or trying to work with fatigue but if we're in the realm of moderate exercise you want to be able to just say a few words um, whilst working um, the program that i've written is very similar to a lot of uh, couch to 5k and general training programs it's based over 12 weeks which is thought to be long enough to uh, build safely and to help uh, develop habits but it's also gentle enough uh, hopefully to avoid injury but short enough to not feel like it's forever away okay it's three times a week important if you can to do it on non-consecutive days so uh, one of the things I will encourage you to do is to do one of your runs on a Saturday because what I'd love to do and what I do in this plan is I align our training with park run Anybody who's ever spoken to me for more than two minutes will know I'm a big fan of parkrun. I absolutely, I think it's just the best uh, example of community, grassroots, uh, inclusive. It's wonderful as a community initiative and particularly as a way to get back on your feet and back out there developing, but not only your own fitness, but actually a sense of community. It's wonderful. So parkrun, three times a week, non-consecutive days and if you can do one thing i would aim to be consistent if it feels that the course is going too quickly for you if it's if the uh, difference 
between one week and the next feels too great, by all means repeat a week. Repeat week one for as long as you want and until you feel ready to move on to week two. But this is a programme based over 12 progressive steps. Okay. So in week one, we start with a five minute warm up, a walk. Um, start gently as you're going through your five minutes, you could build up your, your pace so that you're walking quite briskly. By the end of the five minutes, you should be walking as if you're rushing to get a bus, as if you're in a hurry, walk briskly. And then 30 seconds of run or fast walk, depending on what you're trying to do interspersed with 30 seconds of a recovery walk. So 30 second run, 30 second walk, 30 second run, 30 second walk, or an equivalent, whether that's how, however you're adjusting your pace, but it's on and off for 30 seconds each time, 15 times in total. And then we walk gently, bringing our heart rate down for five minutes at the end. So week one should take you 25 minutes in total. Okay, you're going to do that three times this week. If you feel ready to, if you're already there, uh, you could do one of these on Saturday at Park Run, not necessarily to do the whole distance. Go out, there's no shame, it's fine to not finish Park Run, but if you fancied it, you could go to Park Run on Saturday, see how you feel, go out for 25 minutes. Okay, good luck.